We found that the earlier you start, the better the neurodevelopment outcome will be. And we see normal or near normal development in kids who have been treated on day one of life. And that will not give you the time to actually send off samples for complicated diagnostic workup and wait for results to come back. At this point in time, I think that every baby who has early onset neonatal seizures and which has a very low or undetectable uric acid level in either the urine or the serum and or a positive sulfide dipstick would be sufficient to start treatment. That means that you will treat some infants who will not have molybdenum cofactor deficiency or who might at the end have molybdenum cofactor deficiency but type B, which cannot be treated with CPMP. We have exposed a couple of infants who later turned out to be molybdenum cofactor type B to CPMP and we found that while it doesn't help, it's not harmful either.